in most conventional cars, you have the engine at the front and the boot for your luggage in the back. But it doesn't have to be that way with electric cars. As electric motors are compact and simple, they can be hidden under the floor, often close to the rear wheels. Now that means there's space in the front for other things, including a big hole for storing extra stuff. Some people, who should know better, refer to these spaces as fruits, a contraction of front boot. Americans call boots trunks, so the stateside version is frunk. Sadly, that's a widely used term as well, even though it sounds like a variety of cold saw. Some frunks are fruitier than others, in that certain cars have about enough room for nothing more than a toothbrush. It's very small. While others will swallow several bags of shopping. It's actually useful, unlike this. And here's a word to the wise. Some all-wheel drive versions of electric cars have motors front and rear and are often frunkless, while the two-wheel drive models have one. This all-wheel drive version comes with a front that only has 20 litre capacity. You can barely get your charging cable in there. If you are after more space up front, then the rear-wheel drive version has more than double. So here is our guide to what you might want to call the fruit, the bad and the frankly to front luggage lockers. Before we start, let us briefly consider the Fisker Ocean, a high-end electric sports utility whose front end is sealed and frunkless because company boss and serial vehicle designer Henrik Fisker thinks frunks are a waste of space. Uh, we kind of did a little survey and figured out a lot of people actually don't even use it, he told Ginny when she interviewed him. Guilty, I never use mine. Um, so they didn't put one in. And that meant that they could get rid of the hinges and the seals, which in turn helped them keep costs down. Ford would beg to differ, which is why there's a handy front that hangs out in the front of the mach -E's nose. It's a 100 litre, wipe clean space that comes with a plug, which means that you could put, I don't know, dirty items or perhaps a load of ice to keep your beer cool in there, and then when you're finished, you just pull the plug and let all the dirty water drain away. Remembering, of course, not to do that in your garage. Ford F-150 Lightning is a twin-motor 4x4 monster with the front power unit sitting under a 400-litre luggage space Ford insists on calling a mega power frunk and, indeed, a walk-in closet. This is accessed by opening the truck's snappily titled alligator bonnet and boasts a quartet of 120-volt power plugs and a couple of USBs. This is surely the world's biggest frunk. The F-150 Lightning is likely to be taking on Rivian's R1T electric pickup. There's also a Range Rover-sized SUV called the R1S, which has a bug-eye deflector headlamps and 311 litres of frunk space. This is found behind a fixed front, so stuff has to be heaved over the Rivian's square-cut snout. However, it does have a techie party trick. Alexa-based voice command opening, which means that this virtual handmaiden is now taking over people's vehicles as well as their homes. Hi Alexa, open the bonnet. Ah. Oh, Alexa doesn't understand me. Oh. Alexa, open the hood. Yes. Okay. I'm in America, it's a hood. What was I thinking? What about the Mazda MX-30 I hear you ask? Frunk or no frunk? Here's Editor-in-Chief Tom Barnard's considered opinion. It should have one because there's enough room under that bonnet to house a family of four, and it doesn't. I mean, look, look down here. There's acres. To be fair to the quirky Mazda, it is not alone. A lot of these cars, like this Peugeot E208, that share their architecture with a petrol or a diesel equivalent, have snouts that are positively filled with electric motors and all of the electronic control units that actually supply and regulate them. Ease of servicing could be another reason. And another one is that a lot of these cars, they're actually made on the same production line as their ICE internal combustion equivalents. So doing it like this saves money and complexity. Mercedes use the same theory as Fisker for the EQS. The bonnet doesn't even open unless you're a mechanic who's been on the right training course. This is apparently because posher versions are stuffed with a giant filter that's part of the ventilation gear. Cheaper EQS models don't get that feature, so could have a boot in the nose, but Mercedes apparently thinks the idea of cheaper cars having a feature not found on the costlier ones is perverse. But of course, you might still need access to top up the screen washer fluid. Well, you use this little slot here, 
it kind of reminds me of my dishwasher, where you put the rinse aid. By contrast, the Porsche Taycan has an 81-litre frunk under its gently sloping snout, which is actually quite big and can cope with a couple of squashy bags or a bit of shopping, or almost an entire Ginny Buckley. Which is really handy for chucking your charging cables in or your shopping bags. So come on, what do you like to keep in your frunk? Let us know in the comments below. Now that's matched almost to the millilitre by the Audi e-tron GT, which isn't that surprising, seeing as under the skin, they're essentially the same car. The Polestar 2 has a comparatively smaller frunk at just 35 litres. However, it is still ample space to store your charging cables, so you don't need to worry about emptying your boot to be able to charge. Of course, Tesla is the frontmeister general of the electric car world from the Model S onwards, has always offered a decent front space in terms of the frunk size. But since 2021, Tesla made minor facelift updates, which means we have a smaller frunk. Apparently, it's because they want us to have a better heating in the car with a heat pump. As for the why, you still get 117 litres of frunk space. More space for your shopping. Why not? <laughs>